Do you ever just get so behind on all of the chores that you have to do that you just procrastinate them even more and then they all build up and then you have a whole day worth of tasks? Me too. So that's what we're fixing today. Good morning, you guys. Today we are getting our ish together. I feel like a little bit of a mess. We're on lockdown right now and I've just spilled coffee all over the front of myself. My boyfriend definitely makes superior coffee to this one that I've made, but it's okay. First things first, I'm gonna finish my makeup, clean my makeup brushes, because if I break out, it's because those things are so dirty. Let's go. I've already half done my makeup, so I'm really just finishing it off. This is how I store all of my makeup routine, and it's so messy and unorganized. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more eyeshadow on, do my eyeliner, do my mascara, and let's clean these makeup brushes. Actually, almost done my makeup routine. If you guys want to see like a full video of it, let me know. Maybe I can just include it in a vlog. I don't know if it's interesting enough to put in the entire video. I've literally not cleaned my makeup brushes in. I said a couple of months, but possibly a year. I was like holding my breath while I was doing that. Pretty good. Now we have to try and match that to the other eye. Wish me luck. I started doing the inner corner of my eye too, and I feel like it just like looks more put together. It's a little heavier, but it's cute. Eyeliner is done. I don't know if this is a thing, but I feel like my eyelashes have been getting shorter and shorter and shorter. If you guys have tried out an eyelash serum that actually works, please let me know. I feel like they used to be so long and luscious. Eventually, I want to go through and organize my whole apartment. It needs some TLC. It's a little messy in here. I don't know what to do with this situation. Here are my makeup brushes. I actually store all of my makeup just in these drawers. This makeup brush, I don't know if you can tell, but it has little pieces of foundation all over the brush. Hopefully it doesn't splash everywhere. Ooh, oh my God, it's instantly brown. <laughs> I'm trying a new technique. I'm gonna put some dish soap onto this and try and like use the abrasiveness to get the makeup out of the brush because it's, it's real bad. There's still little tiny beads of makeup. I don't know how to get that off. Now I just have to clean the handles because they are, if not grosser than the actual makeup brushes themselves. And here they are, they're all clean. Although I will say this one, I really couldn't clean it any more than that. I was cleaning it for so long and there's still makeup in there. They're a lot better than before. Now that those are clean, I can show you guys all the cute stuff that I just got. I'm not going back to school, but I know a lot of you guys are about to go back to school, putting together new outfits and stuff. She's a little stressful. So I thought I'd help you guys out to get a little bit of outfit inspiration. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring and partnering with me on this video. Video. If you guys haven't heard of Startup, which I'm assuming and guessing that you guys definitely have, Startup is an online thrift store and they have over 40,000 different brands. So you can shop high quality shoes, clothes, bags, accessories for up to 90% off the retail price. They also have new arrivals every single day. And the best part about Startup is you're shopping secondhand, so it's great for the environment and you're helping keep a bunch of different items out of landfill. They also gave me a sneaky little discount code. So if you guys want to save some money, you guys should definitely stay tuned for the end of the hole. One of the first things that I've got, I'm so obsessed with color right now, you guys. I used to literally only wear the most neutral clothing ever. So this is from American Eagle. Something like this is perfect to just throw on with a pair of jeans. The estimated retail is $45 and I got this for 11. I feel like everyone on the internet, especially TikTok is obsessed with Zara right now, but they had these wide legged velvet pants and something like this would be perfect for back to school because it's so stretchy. You're going to be comfortable all day. Estimated retail for these pants was $40 and I got these for $9. <laughs> Thread up is such a good option for back to school shopping because back to school is already expensive as it is. You can still put together such cute fits without the huge price tag. So it's definitely a win-win and they also have so many fun brands in their back to school shop right now like Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, Zara, Aritzia. Like these pieces that I'm showing you guys, they have so many cute things for under $15. I picked up this skirt, which is from Brandy Melville. The estimated retail is 22, but I got this one for 11. It looks like the perfect wash of denim. Speaking of denim, I got another denim skirt, but this one is like a little asymmetrical one from Urban Outfitters. I love this bit just here. It makes it more edgy. The estimated retail on this is $36, and I got this one for $11. This cute little button up from American Eagle. This is so cute. 
Yeah. The estimated retail is $35 and I got this for $17. I remember seeing this on American Eagle. Fun fact, I used to leave a sweater in my locker at school, even when it was like spring and summertime, just because I had such a fear of getting cold. This is so perfect, it's not super heavy and it's so stinking soft. I got this for $15 and the estimated retail price is 50. I have two more tops. This one was from Paxson, it was $24 and I got it for $14.99. Would be super cute, little Y2K vibe. I got this fun little top from Urban the estimated price was originally $30. This one was $15.99. You also have your shoulders covered for school because some schools have super strict rules and a backpack because I wouldn't be able to give you guys back to school inspo without a backpack. And look at how freaking big this is. You can actually fit a book in here. This was originally $30 and I got it for $11. So that's why I love thrifting because you never know what you're gonna find. You're gonna save so much money. So go thrifting, find yourself some cute back to school pieces and let me know in the comments what you guys find because I'm nosy. So you guys can use my link down below and visit Throwdubs Back to School Shop and you can also use the code Sarah B to save 30% off your first order. So I put on a real outfit. I got rid of my coffee stained sweater and I went for the little button up top. I just have it like folded in. I think this is like cute with a little bit of space here. And then I have the velvet wide leg pants on. Very comfortable fit. I can't really tell that they're velvet but trust me. I'm gonna try and stay super positive but if I'm being honest, I think my least favorite chore household task is folding up the washing. I do sometimes leave all of my washing in the clean basket once it's being washed and just take it out of there as I need it. It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Even my laundry is so unorganized. So we've got the whole dryer is ready to go. I need to fold that up. And then I think it's just a bunch of linen and stuff. And maybe I will like tidy up the laundry because it's not looking great. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of YouTube on. It's probably going to take about an hour. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna eat. I just know for a fact that I cannot get through an hour worth of meal prepping without eating something. So, microwave meal it is. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. That's what I'm telling myself. If you need any help with meal prepping, I'm also there. Thanks, babe. You hear that? You're like, hey, blokes, I'm not actually meal prepping. My boyfriend's just decided that he's going to do it. <laughs> That was like a gourmet meal. Delicious. Before I start cooking, I think I'm just gonna throw the rest of my laundry in the washing machine, probably procrastinate a little bit, and then we're gonna start cooking. I'm kind of full after eating, and now I'm just like a little bit tired. Washing is in, and that is my least favorite job done. And it really wasn't that bad. Sometimes you just gotta do it, and then it's really just fine. I'm super excited about these. I just got them out of the washing machine, but I ordered all of these like reusable makeup removers. I kind of wanted to switch out using cotton rounds just because obviously it's not very good to have so much single use waste, but it was hard because I love to use a cotton round with micellar water to take off my eye makeup. So this is really easy. I have tested these ones with micellar water to remove my eye makeup and they're like perfect. They do the exact same thing as a regular cotton round. Definitely recommend if you you guys a frequent cotton round users pick up some of these they're so convenient you can just throw them in the washing machine this one here which is the face halo brand on their website they literally say that you can remove your makeup with just water and one of these personally I still prefer to use a little bit of face wash and cleanser I ran out of face wash before and just use one of these and it really does work definitely recommend <laughs> I've got so many now I need to work out what to do with them all <laughs> I'm just gonna make some chicken capsicum and rice but Kane needs to take the air fryer down because it's very very heavy. It's like literally too heavy for me to take out of here. I will literally drop it. That's, oh, that's a real best friend. Let's get chopping. I'm a little bit ashamed about my chopping boards. They're all like slightly stained and I don't know what to do about that. It is what it is. It's fine. Some yellow capsicum, red capsicum. All the Americans are like capsicum. What is that? Onion, garlic. 
<laughs> Kane's whole thing is just telling me tea all the time. <laughs> Literally, ever since Kane's been at my house, guys, every like five minutes, he just comes out with some really weird story to tell me. But it's honestly I, making things interesting. Yeah, I honestly can't tell anyone else this one yet. Oh, okay. I really do need to invest in a garlic press. I had one, but it just smooshed out like the juice of the garlic and didn't actually do anything. I finished up with the vegetables and my boyfriend's working on the chicken. And then we're gonna throw it all in the air fryer, season it, and it's gonna be good. I just realized that I haven't cooked the rice at all. <laughs> Kane has bought his huge air fryer with him. Which is honestly so convenient because mine is a little bit too small to cook for like more than one person. I'm gonna turn that on. We're gonna cook some rice and then it's pretty much done. I have a mess everywhere though. So I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna clean up. I don't have a rice cooker, so apparently I've done this a couple of times. The best way to cook your rice if you don't have a rice cooker is covered and you just want to boil it, cover it up once it's boiling and then leave it for like 12 minutes and it cooks so much better. I used to cook rice in a pot uncovered and it literally used to turn out super gross and clumpy and like half of it was not even cooked probably. So this is how I started doing it and it's so much better. It is currently 10 past 6 and at 6.45 my friends are hosting a lockdown trivia night. Everyone's just gonna have a couple of drinks so hopefully I can finish this all up before 6.45 otherwise I might miss out. I better get a move on. <laughs> okay I think that everything is ready. I really hope so because I'm running out of time. This trivia starts in like 10 minutes and I haven't even put anything of this away. I'm under pressure. Why do I not meal prep more often? I feel like I've got my life together. If anyone knows how to get these stains off of these containers, is that possible? If so, please let me know in the comments. These are hard. Is this common knowledge? <laughs> oh, yeah. what? I swear there was already a... I just guessed. Fuck. Like I have done like three different yeah, rounds of trivia. I came second once. How many rounds have we done? I came second to second round too. That's my point. Now we're doing Twilight, Twilight. and if I lose, I'm gonna be oh, no. so ashamed. Yeah. Guys, I came freaking second on the Twilight thing. Shout out Kayla for actually selecting one category that I could go okay at. I were you fourth? Yeah. I feel I like it's sure. early because you were cheating though. <laughs> I did not win trivia. I came second on two rounds, but I never even placed. I think I came fifth overall, which I personally think is pretty good. My best rounds were High School Musical and Twilight and all the other rounds I kind of sucked at. And a big thank you to Third Up for sponsoring and partnering with me on this video. If you guys want to shop their back to school shop, I'm going to have the link down below and you guys can use the code Sarah B for 30% off your first order. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please give this a thumbs up if you guys liked it and subscribe. Bye!